Uh, uh, my favourite frosty caffeinated beverage, whose name I shall not mention without a very high paid sponsorship deal. I want to share with you today why sometimes it's very hard for me to get my favourite drink because something as simple as going to the supermarket can drive me stark fucking mad! I mean, it starts when I get there and it doesn't stop till I leave. Let's start with the parking space. It seems every motherfucker in my suburb wants to go shopping at the same time as me because I can never find a parking space in the fucking parking lot. Ever noticed how psycho people get over parking spaces? Aggressive person. But some of these people want to fucking kill you for a parking space. It's, it's bad enough when there's the situation that it's slightly ambiguous who got there first, so who gets the parking space? But what happens when, by any standards, by any decent societal standards, you got there first, it's your parking space, and some fucker wants to fight you for it. And I mean fight. They actually want to get out of their fucking car and come to blows with you over a parking space. Gah! It's a parking space, not your ancestral homeland. Get over it! I think everybody has the car park problem, but this one might be a bit more specific to me. When you go into the supermarket, there's whole racks of the Colas, right? They all have all their little subdivisions, variations on their brand. When I go in there for an advertised special, it's always the particular little subversion of the cola that I want that they don't have. It's like some fucking conspiracy. They'll have all the other variations, but not my favourite. And I swear, this happens at least two thirds of the time. They have every other version of the goddamn drink except mine. You know what I've worked out? Those cameras everywhere, they're not for shoplifters. The ones in the car park, they're not for security. They're to fucking see me coming and some little rat bastard goes in and pulls all my favourite off the shelf and then they run out the back to their storeroom with their security monitors and they laugh. They point at the monitor with me looking all disappointed that I can't get what I want and they laugh. I know what you're doing and I'm coming for you. Oh, and good God, there's the checkouts. God forbid I actually get what I want, but I have this magical power to pick the worst possible checkout. If there's five lines, the one I get in will be the slowest moving line. And if I decide to jump over to a faster moving line, then the one that I left suddenly goes fast and the one that I jumped to uh, that was going fast is now going slow and what aisle I get in. It really doesn't matter which one I pick. It is always the wrong one. And I, it doesn't help if I change. I'll go over there. Yes, that's faster. I'll go over there. <gasps> then that one starts going slow. And the one I was in going fast, so I'll jump back over there. And no, now this one's going slow. Oh, 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 that one, that one, that one. And But then three other people have got in the line that I would have been in front of if I'd stayed there. And so I just sort of say, hey, back off. Let me tell you one more thing that gets me pissed off about shopping. The lazy way they mess around with the maths when they're doing a sale. It's just they say up to 50% off. Well, is it 50% off or not? Up. 2.50%, 0% is on the way up to 50%, okay? And it's not an accident, it's not even lazy. The evil fuckers are doing it as a deliberate lie. And I'm on to you. It isn't just to do with shopping. You see it on the news, the newsreaders, the politicians. They talk about only a fraction of people are affected by this. Well, what fraction, dickhead? 99 and 1 hundredths is a fraction. One one hundredth is a fraction. Which one are we talking about? Ah, oh, people are just so lazy and don't bother to explain what they're talking about. It makes me want to shake them. Or preferably staple their fucking mouth shut so they can't go on with this ridiculous shit anymore. I'm giving them too much credit. It's not laziness. Again, it's deliberate deceit. These political fucks stand up there saying only a percentage will be affected. Now they know if 99 one hundredths are affected, they're still technically correct. They didn't lie because they said a fraction. And 99 one hundredths is a fraction. 
They know they can get away with this shit because the gutless fucking media just let them roll, never put them on the spot. I tell you what, I'm taking over, okay? I'm going to run this place and anyone who uses that shit deceptive language, I'm going to put their fucking face in a shredder.